My name is Kit Parker. I'm a member of the disease biophysics group at Harvard and several years ago we had an idea that we could build a jellyfish out of a rat. The reason why we're interested in doing this is we want to understand muscular pumps and we look at the jellyfish as a very simple model of, of how the heart pumps. What we do in our engineering group is try to use engineering to gain fundamental insights into biological phenomena. And in this case, while some engineers build things out of steel, copper, and 3.5, we build things out of cells. Cells are our building substrate. In my lab, we take inspiration from the engineering solutions that are found in nature, and we use them to develop new technologies. In this project, we actually had a slightly different approach, which was to develop new tools that will allow us to study engineering solutions that nature never came across, to find out those solutions that were missed by evolution, and to study the relationship between the structure and the function that occurs in those systems. One of the aspects that make jellyfish, such as this one, relevant to biomedical research is that they pump liquid using basically the same principle as the human heart. That is, they squeeze liquid out of the cavity using muscle contraction, and then this cavity refills with fluid by elastic recoil. So the idea is to first tissue engineer a functional jellyfish and learn from this basic principles of fluid pumping, and then move to more complicated designs such as artificial hearts. One such design principle is the recruitment of viscous fluid layers that attach to all swimmers, but jellyfish exploit them for paddling and prey capture. The engineered jellyfish also exploits viscous fluid layers because we optimize its shape to the flow conditions. Another design principle is the orderly alignment of the jellyfish muscle fibers that is necessary for forceful contraction. In the engineered jellyfish, we achieve comparable alignment by providing freshly seeded muscle cells with a surface pattern, a kind of roadmap for growth. A third design principle is the stroke cycle, in which fast muscle contraction alternates with slow elastic recoil that restores the jellyfish shape. In the engineered jellyfish, elastic recoil is provided by a layer of silicone rubber. Once the muscle layer has fully developed, the engineered jellyfish is launched from its support structure and ready to be tested for its propulsion performance. So we took the rat cells, we rebuilt it as a jellyfish. We left off the face. But this thing pumps and swims around morphologically and functionally it's a jellyfish. Genetically it's a rat. This project is really just the beginning of what we see as a reimagining of synthetic biology not just molecular level in this case, but really recreating entire organisms. 